as you all know, on October 30, 2014, the Austin Police Department learned of this video for the first time when it was posted on YouTube. This morning, we held a disciplinary review hearing, which was held for Officer Mark Lytle and Officer Michael Castillo. Our Internal Affairs Division worked uh, uh, extensively to look at both officers. Officer Lytle has been on the department for 11 years at and audited all of their contacts with the victims of sexual assault and sexual assault cases. And I can tell you that the the attitude, the cavalier attitude in terms of the humor and in terms of the conversation, in terms of that gallus and uh, uh, attitude in terms of that humor is not, was not reflective in the quality of their work. What we saw was that uh, the, what you saw on tape was the exception and absolutely not the rule when it came to these officers. We uh, gave and have sustained two charges against both, both officers. The first charge is a violation or violation of policy is a violation of 900.3.2 acts bringing discredit upon the department and 900.3.4 general conduct and responsibilities. Uh, both one officer, Officer Castillo, has been uh, handed a three-day suspension. We're police officers and we choose this professional service we're held to a higher standard. He is contrite, he's apologetic, he's embarrassed uh, and quite, uh, and quite uh, remorseful. Uh, they will also be required at some point we'll be putting together some training and opportunities to have them work both officers with the uh, services that provide services and some of our NGOs non-governmental organizations that provide services to victims of sexual assault officer Lytle is an 11 year veteran of the police department he has no uh, disciplinary history in terms of being in any type of trouble uh, again, we looked at his work product. It is uh, a very good work product. His, his conduct as it relates to the way he's treating people from everything we looked at is consistent with what we expect as a department. Having said that, he is a senior officer with 11 years. He was, in fact, Officer Castillo's field training officer at some point, and he uh, received a five working day suspension, or five, excuse me, a five day suspension. Had we had that person that put that tape online, had that person brought that tape to us, we would have done the same exact thing. We would have taken the same exact steps. But there's just certain things that as police officers, no matter how much your heart may be in the right place, there's things you don't joke about. Even though you're, it may be a coping mechanism, you just don't cross certain boundaries. And I don't care if it's on duty or off duty, we had that conversation today. We represent our department on and off duty. So we had that conversation. Do you think that if you had been uh, at the pool, you know, at a hotel, is it a, a probate conduct? And I think that these officers, when, you, when, you, when this happens, you have an opportunity to really reflect. And I think they realize that um, people that know them, know their heart, know that this is not reflective of their attitudes towards the victims of crime or towards uh, especially sexual assault victims. But people that don't know them, are going to make some assumptions that maybe they don't care.